What's going on, guys? Black House here once more. We have Lower Lane here. And we're in Elkin Factor, Hearts Fighting 4, in the German campaign. Last time we won the Spanish Civil War and we're carrying on. Time's just side, by the way. Um, research is going kind of slowly, but then again, we're, in, we're a closed off nation. We don't exactly look for innovation. So, research actually does take a long time. Uh, but it's effective. Like, we actually do have a main industry behind us. You think this plan's good? Why are you? Larger river crossing division, stop preparing some divisions on position. Ah, because we've got a new crew, I'm guessing. What division isn't in position? You? Who are you? Ow. Oh, I get it, because they're manning the whole line. Can't argue with that. Oh, I'm sorry, I paused the game, of course. <laughs> Oops! So, now you think it's a decent plan. Still preparing. Imperial Army, it's gonna go better every time. La la. La la la. When that gets to 24, we'll start organizing a new army. And um, we'll have that ready for other operations. I do think we want to work on Marines soon, though. Because we're gonna need them for the uh, invasion of Britain when it happens. Just trying to think of where we want to do that. Where's a good spot to work from? Like, London's going to be heavily guarded. We're going to need an air force. Uh, do we have any planes in reserve? Oh, we're going do it this way. Uh, we're working on getting some tag bombs in. Okay. Uh, let's get some cast up to get the junk yunker. Put an ace over here. Booby. What? Okay. Uh, let's put a fighter group here as well. Uh, cut down by 3, go up by 10, go 50, because I clicked wrong. There we go. This, makes, this, this starts to make more sense over time. You should be just taking that a second. Yep, and then we'll do a new plan from there when the time comes. We haven't had Marco Polo Bridge yet, which is concerning me slightly. Radio's done. So from radio, uh, 1937, Radio detection wouldn't go amiss, to be fair. But not yet. I think uh, air doctrine is going to be useful. We need more research slots. It's really hurting us right now. Five days until we get that. How are we doing on you? Uh, positive 90. I think that's the highest it can go, isn't it? Yes, so we're done here. Uh, we need to start thinking about people we can influence. So, Yugoslavia would go miss. Construction 2. Uh, construction for 9, so let's go with this. Actually, what's this do anyway? What does it say? Um. <sighs> what would be useful? Fair naval doctrine wouldn't go missed, neither would more navy. When's the star face? So let's get the slow host. More shiny host. Oh no, we do battle cruisers, don't we? So we can't get the O class yet. Well, we can, but it's slow. Uh, inland doctrine working on artillery. We could do some improvements actually. Get into tank. Armor. It's not worth doing because it's ahead of time. I think what's best right now is to work on the uh, either the Marines or power troops. Power troops. Then we don't need to worry about the naval war, we just need to worry about the air war. Which is going to be bad on its own, to be fair. Hey, treat you with the USSR has done. Right, so now the USSR will come back to us, if they agree or not. If they do say yes, we get a 100%... it's either... 100% penalty, time penalty uh, reduction, or 50% not of ahead of time for the one re for the Panzer kind of bargain one free, and then two times 50% bonuses. So we basically can get ahead of time by getting the Panzer free. Um, I think air innovations next wouldn't go amiss. Wait, does that lead into? Yeah, it does. So we'll go through. Uh, can we do? 
Can't do your own sushi yet. Let's go with something. Oh, we don't do naval yet. Um. To be fair, that's actually not bad. Task of the Rex Air Ministry of Armament. Yeah, the Air Force is too useful these days. The Hindenburg incident. The Hindenburg didn't crash. Wow. Disaster was narrowly averted today when a diesel fuel leak was discovered on a German passenger airship the Hindenburg as it came into dock at the Lakehurst Naval Air Station in the United States. The leak was promptly repaired. Had they gone, noticed flammable vapour could have resulted in a fire that would have engulfed the entire airship. Critics have long questioned the wisdom of passenger airships given their spotty safety record, and the incident is bound to make them even more vocal. So, we've got the historical version where the Hindenburg survives. Soviet Union accepts German territory. Our negotiations with the Soviet Union have been successful. An agreement has been reached where our nations will aid each other in the development of new armoured units, with possible extension to other research areas in the future. So we get the... we can get the Panzer early. Panzer free early, rather. Which is more useful than you think. Like, don't get me wrong, the Panzer 2 isn't bad. Light tanks are g uh, all good all around as light tanks are more scouts. Um, just mobile. Which way I put them when you motorised. Um, you put motorised with just about anything really. Anything mo uh, tank basically get organisation bonuses. These guys should be all dug in by now. So you think the plan isn't that good. Uh, we're getting more for the these guys. So we're getting there. Uh, production is... Uh, it's not going very well. How's construction going? I really wish we were working on those military factories right now. We need more than this. I can live though for now. Because we've got enough small arms to make it count. We should be getting on top of this now. We are, good. Uh, artillery, we are going to be behind on. No, we're ahead of. Good. And uh, tanks, we need more. We need it. We are. I can't make that in a thousand days, jeez. No change. Okay, so um, I think airplanes next, and we'll do. <sighs> Would be good. I think a light aircraft to get our planes better. Actually, yeah, fighters upgrade. Yeah, our fighters improve whenever they build now. And research factory on planes anyway. So yeah. is that planes just fighter air research good? This is really where you get your bonuses. So you want to get these as, as all good as possible for what you do. And don't be afraid to swap them out. What are we doing anyway? Uh, nothing really. Okay. That works. <laughs> 2.6 a day. If we weren't doing air innovations, it would be 3 a day. So apparently everyone thinks this is a good plan. Apart from me. <laughs> Every time I say that, it's like, keep forgetting, he's there. Hmm. He's there just to haunt me, to remind me it's not a good plan. <laughs> uh, 37, I think the Anschluss historically happened 38, somewhere around there. I want to get the research slot as fast as I can, though. The ribbon drop packs, what do we need for you? Hey, you're 50k. We need one for you. It's 550k. How far are we off? We're on... 550k. What? Uh, what? What? Okay. I'm not even going to ask. I'm just not going to ask. <laughs> now so I could drag you into a war, but hey, let's declare war on you separate. We could go to war with Switzerland. Then again, Switzerland's actually worth it. Uh, 7 and 13 slots, really. It'd be nice, but we probably have to fix it all up. So I'll leave the Federal Council of Switzerland. Yeah, seriously, Federal Council. Something rapid change 
size E to be highly desirable, conservatism size to be here. Can declare what can't declare on the country without a war goal target. Can guarantee our ideologies, lower our attention guarantees. That's just every four years. Neutral foreign policy. Of course. Every time. To be fair, 85% national unity isn't very good when you've got like one, two cities. Yeah, so all you gotta do is one city, all you gotta do is get burned, that's it. No, no, two cities, one, two. And you're worth what? 15, you're worth 10. So you need them both. That's a very easy war there. I'm just saying. I do like at least look, it's gonna be really fancy. Let's realize we've got the issue of taking on the entire Commonwealth. Great. That's gonna be fun, isn't it? Here's the Commonwealth of Britain. Yeah. What the hell was that meant to be? <laughs> Even I don't know, and I'm the guy making the noises. Because I'm so like that. It's gonna be something we're gonna do this time. Uh why aren't you doing Marco Polo? Because you're doing it now. Uh, that leads into war with China. So, what have you done then? Why is your historical start then? Seriously. Long Lance, Spiritual Mobilization, Warrior Traditions. Huh. It's not like it's a <laughs> so we never we don't think we ever gonna break them as you know. Not safely anyway. I mean they've actually put more troops here. Then again, this is just a masking force anyway. It's just there to look good. Immediate ear heart disappears. Well wow, that's historical. We've seen that one before, so we've got ear heart disappeared. So really it's kind of a weird game because there's half history, half non history happening. Makes you think. We might want to pull up our uh, fascism. I don't want Conrad or Wilhelm getting the ideas. <coughs> I do like how that works actually. What's that say? Verate? Or Vera? Hmm. Must be something like revenge or vengeance. To be fair, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I do think Germany was treated rather badly in the end of World War I. I mean, they had to accept blame for causing the war when really everyone had a part in causing the war. The leadership Persian Soviet Union, wow. Uncertainty has long reigned in the Soviet Union. While details are scarce, there's been a series of secret trials on the highest level. And both generals and ministers disappeared in the public eye. The natural assumption is that some great conspiracy has been uncovered within the Soviet Union. Oh, in the Communist Party, rather. But no official statement has been made. In addition, the diplomatic reports we have access to indicate that the uh, evidence presented in these trials has been far from disputable. Whatever has happened, been happening, the structure of the Soviet high command has changed irrevocably. Evidence corruption inherent in communism. Hmm. And we got Air Innovations 2. Um, that lets us have, what? More air experience. Um, Battlefield Spot Doctrine, Jet, and jet Research Doctrine Time Down, Radar Tech Research Bonus, Joint Air Research with the Soviets. Let's go Rocketry. Or can we get the Orange Loose? Can't get the Orange Loose yet. Let's go Rocketry. We're getting there. I mean, it's just a long build, that's the thing. I mean, it's 1936. Can't really blame it. Uh, how are you doing? We were getting paratroops, weren't we? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we can change the government again. So, who's next on our list? Let's go for the material designer. Infantry designer. I think that actually does help you out, doesn't it? Does it? Marco Polo! Hooray! You're not affected by that, okay. Hmm. Well, this could be fun. I love how that music's gone suddenly tense as soon as this happened. So, I have no idea how the Japanese actually do this, but we're actually going to send you some troops. 
they must be at war. So not at war yet. But when they go to war, we'll send them volunteers just for a bit of cheap experience. I mean, it'll we'll put up tension a bit, but... Hmm. Give the other guys some chance, a chance to do something. That has to be there, it's something to do while you're waiting. Uh, the artillery is getting there. Uh, you're going to take a bit a while though. 473 days, you're going to take even longer. We need more military fetches. Once this is done, we will have them, but you're going to take, what, until 13th of September? Holy Christ. So how long does one take? This is just starting... Two months? Yeah, in July, December, October. Yeah, two months. Just under two months. Wow. Christ. I didn't realize it was that long. I gotta keep an eye out, because as soon as you go to war, there's elastic defense, which is useful because organization goes up for tank for uh tanks, tanks and armor variants. Uh well tanks and armor variants get speed rather. Wow. Okay, uh next on our list. Mobile infantry or blitzkrieg. So, this is based around getting your motorized infantry, this is based around your armor. We're the Germans, we historically go for armor. What's this give us? Breakthrough, plus 20%, organization plus 3, enables blitz. Organization for tanks, recovery rate for tanks and armor is better. Blitzkrieg, motorized infantry organization, is that the same as this? No. So, Blitzkrieg or mobile infantry? Um, I would prefer to rely on my tanks. Thing is, this isn't recovery rate for the organization, is it? I think it is, actually. Let's go with it. Armored Spearhead. I mean, we're going behind time, I thought. A while, anyway. And the only way we're going to catch up is we're going to get more research slots, and we're working our way towards one now. So, why haven't we seen you come out yet? What are you missing? Motorized. So, we need tanks and we need motorized. Quite a few of them, to be fair. Let's let these military factories get going then. Come on, work with Pasta. Yeah, I'm you all. Yeah. Rommel's halfway to being fully equipped. That's a good sign. Um, the north, we could stand to build up a bit more. I think, really, at a risk. This is you guys. We'll edit it a bit just to bring you a bit further up. Right click and drag to it. Okay. Go about here then. We will give you more troops to make up for that. Um. Mm. Yeah, that's fair actually. Because the main assault will be coming from this side. We could actually drag this side out a bit. Uh, Rommel, uh, let's edit your plan a bit. We'll move you back this way a tad to about here. And escape. Alright, we can see why the fun's happening there. Uh, what else do we need? Nothing really. Let's get these out quicker. Or build them there. Or build more of them. You need support weapons anyway, don't you? Yep, and motorized. Um, how are we going to do this then? I think that's get done, really. I mean, we're two years in, we... Mm, it's getting a bit shaky. But we're getting a lot of things up quicker. If this is Scotland the Brave, I swear. 1937. So this is viable. Work on doctrines. Uh, 
I wouldn't mind getting the convoy interdiction. We could get anti tank. Or we can get the Panzer III, I forgot about that. Uh, Heinz Guderian, Division 2 basic type stack, the most numerous equipment for the future. As early as 1943 35. Uh, 33, sorry. General Heinz Guderian and Vision 2 basic types act as the most numerous equipment for the future German Panzer Division. The first vehicle was to be armed with anti tank and two handgun and two machine guns. The second was to be a support vehicle with a large caliber gun. The first one eventually became known as the Panzer Kampfwagen III, which was to be the standard tank for the three light companies of a tank battalion. The second one became known as the Panzer Kampfwagen IV, which is down here. The thing is, the Panzer IV. Um, sorry, Panzer Zwei, Panzer Dry. Mine's right, Dry. Vier. Sorry, Panzer Zwei, Panzer Dry. Yeah, no, Panzer Dry, Panzer Vier. Um, they're originally made with the lighter tank to engage tanks and a heavier tank to engage infantry, like the British do with infantry tanks and cruiser tanks. But they both had really good armour. Well, for the time, anyway. Which, you kind of think, like, over all the nations, and you go, well, this doesn't make sense. Like, the T 34. Uh, is an, is just an all-round battle tank, which was actually an unheard of thing at the time. Like the Sherman's the same way. Because um, they both really are up-to-date with the times. They know what they're doing. They know what they want to be. As opposed to how the British do it, where we have you know, just tanks that do a single job. No, sorry. Let me try that again. <laughs> that made more sense in my head. You have both the German... The German... The, the, every tank up to that point had had a certain specific role. Like, infantry tanks would support infantry, cruiser tanks support uh, the, the assault. The, the T-34, the Sherman, and I believe you'll find the Panzer Dre uh, Vier broke this by having actual uh, all-round roles. They weren't made t uh, tailored to a specific role. They were made to do everything. It sounds annoying, to be fair. Um, I say annoying. It sounds complex. It's not as bad as it sounds, by any means. It's just one of those things you have to wrap your head around, and then it makes sense. Um, I don't think the uh, Americans even know they were, even knew how good they were building when they made the M4. But I know the Panzer Panzer literally means armor. Um, as in, you know, just literally armor one, armor two, armor three. When you get down about this point, which is like 1941, um, Hitler actually wanted all of his tanks to be named after animals, after lions and such. Which is why you've got the leopard, the panther, the king tiger, the tiger. The King Tiger is actually named the, after a snake, I believe, if I remember that right. Uh, the Mouse. Mouse. It's literally called the Mouse. I wish I was kidding. <laughs> the E-50 is actually a tank that never got made. The End of Long series. Now, these are extremely good tanks. They were modern. They were very, very good. Um... If you've played World of Tanks, you'll know all the variants of them, like the E25, the E50, E75, E100. They're very good tanks, I'll give them that. They had their flaws. Which, you know, they, everything has its flaws, for God's sake. Let's go for... Uh, Mobile Warfare, what do you do? Hmm. Heinz Guderian it is. Like, every doctrine has its... Um, every tank has its flaws. Um... No, it wasn't a topic. What was a topic? I've forgotten completely what I was talking about. Great. Cheers, Al. <laughs> I'm driving literally what I can do. Training, uh, training away for uh, really. Oh, what the? Japanese build up on the Chinese border. Following the Marco Polo Bridge incident, Japan has not let down their pressure on the Chinese border. In conjunction with the aggressive Japanese rhetoric speaking of terrible retaliation for China's refusal to cooperate, a renewed war between Japan and China seems more and more likely by the day. The diplomatic situation will soon reach a boiling point. Japan has expressed no interest in defusing the situation. We got rocketry. Japan declared war on the Shangzi, so that's the war actually begun in China. Uh, let's go down and grab an extra research slot. And that's actually the big thing we want for that. So, this war has begun. It's basically Japan versus China. We can actually send troops. That's the fun thing. So, you, it's a... Uh... That's the move. <laughs> it actually begins. Holy crap. I want to send you volunteers. Good sir. Uh, we can send you three. Okay. 
Uh, let's grab from you. I want to just take you out. Uh, how do I just take you out? Let's take you out. No, I can't. Oh, and the sign. There we go. Uh, we'll grab you, you, and you. We will unassign you. And we'll assign you to a new commander who will be a low skill commander. Uh, Frederick Paulus. Japan. You're, you're lucky. Uh, Nestle and Lise. We'll be right. You're the lucky receiver of Frederick Pallas. Who will be your friend for the next few months as you continue your way against uh, around China. There we go. So we are actually getting the military effects stuff now. That's a good sign. These actually give us rubber. That's actually... I don't get that. It gives you rubber as well. Why? Should we build a couple of these around the... Around the Empire. I say, why well, I call it Empire? Around the place. So if we don't have to worry about, if we don't have to worry about rubber ever again, then it'll be too soon. Let's build up a few dry docks in these. The thing is, not mind if we had to just swamp them in <laughs> manpower. Um, okay, what's going to be more useful, artillery or tanks? I'd say artillery, to be honest. We're doing fight game five of you a day, aren't we? If we get used to that, we at least get infantry up. So let's actually put you up to here. And we'll actually assign these up to here. And we do get a couple of these. We are working through the new stuff, which is actually going to get us a few military factors. And we're going to work on a few naval stuff. Holy Christ! Maybe not that fast. Maybe not that fast. Uh, try and keep down a bit. And bring you up a few. Yeah. That'll do. So when do they get there? In... October. There we go. They're in Kanto. Are you serious? Alright. Well, wow. Well, whoa! That's fast. Front line is here. Let's go over there. There's a naval base as well, so I'll make it there. I'll find a way. Uh, so that's the way the fun begins, I guess. So I think I've explained about the Marco Polo Bridge incident before. Um, it happened. It was a skirmish that Japan escalated into the war. So you can kind of see why there's a few things going on there. It did have a few other repercussions of China do uh, China having things happen to it from Japan, because you know that's normal things to do to a nation. It's not. It's seriously not. Nah, there was a lot of things that Japan did during the war that China hasn't forgiven about. It's for today. And we're talking cent uh, not centuries, years ago. Like, this is nearly a hundred. What are we at? 70 years now? Do you even need to plan? Oh, just go. You have tanks, they don't. So they are all scrambling for the defense of King Dong. King Dao. Go and take this. This will take, what, 14 days? Really? To be fair, we've got a bear commander who might have a bear shot during this. Well, we need reinforcements. <laughs> Too big. Um, sorry, I need a bigger doctor. I'm way too close. Great. Go for this. Why has that got the communist symbol? Russia sent, Russia sent them troops. That's actually kind of amusing. Ah, tanks in there. Are they still waiting on the sidelines? They're out. They're in low supply. Our divisions aren't even in there yet. 
So really we'd be better off just... Hang on. We are going to be so much better off if we go like... Back off, go here, go here. And just wrap around it. Because that ain't going to fall anytime soon, especially if they're in low supply now. That one's just going to last a couple of days.